work there placing it. Uh, we're going to have a snow roof, so we're going to have a completely white roof. And then we're going to have a balcony uh, leading out here. And I'm just going to throw some more bricks down there to Halo Zone. It looks like he's going to uh, carry on working and finish off that floor for us. Okay, right. I actually need to find Afro Dan now because uh, he's supposed to be giving me a bit of a tour. But I'm not actually sure where he is. Okay, that's him down here. And uh, I have seen this world briefly. I haven't spent too much time here. Uh, so some of this stuff I have seen. Some of it uh, I'm sure is going to be new to me. You can see there Afro Dan dressed up as the Queen to give me the tour. I'm getting a royal tour uh, of the world. Uh, this is the study room, apparently. Okay, I know what this is. This is the exit to their mob trap. And basically, it's a very funky way of doing it. So it's all under the ground. It brings them up, uh, kind of similar to my mob trap or my googly trap, uh, which you may have seen in my video. And it brings them up and it kills them. And then you press that lever here, uh, that lever there and it moves these blocks away water comes down and so all of the goodies uh, will fall and land down there so it's just an easy uh, way of doing it so you don't get like a pile of stuff on the floor you can basically come here pull the lever and it'll all go down and for some reason we haven't actually got any stuff there maybe it's because we just slept or something but yeah that's pretty cool see some uh, plant pots there in the corner of the room and uh, some bookcases and stuff so that's just something quite a kind of cool um, I'm not sure what we're showing next this is the room that we just slept in by the way this is basically a bedroom that's sort of uh, the quickest way to get to sleep in the world that you can do and yeah so moving on uh, you can see the storeroom uh, is here to the left that's where the stairs were and the storeroom is pretty empty at the moment sort of most of these chests are empty uh, basically all the ones here have just sort of dumped with loads of stuff uh, I'm sure soon they're going to organize it and sort of put signs up and stuff but at the moment it's a bit of a free-for-all which is annoying for me being a visitor to the world because it takes me so long to find anything that I want uh, here's a furnace room. See, these are blocks of lapis. They've actually found quite a lot of lapis already. And they've got a branch mine down there. And the way you get into the mine uh, is actually really cool. You can see there, you kind of got a glimpse of it. You place the mine cart down, you pull the lever, and it pushes the mine cart out. And then you kind of just roll down, which is kind of a, just sort of a novelty way of doing it. And it, I, don't, I don't know if it's necessarily that much better than a standard way, but it's something a bit different. And once again, Afro Dan being the king of all things pistons, or the queen, I should say, of all things pistons. That's sort of just something um, he decided to do. That tower there, you should ignore, because that was someone who came into their world and they sort of just build that monstrosity and they're basically waiting for them to come back to the world to take it out. It's a bit of an ugly tower, sort of half finished. And it's actually got cannons in there, which are aimed towards the house. So kind of ignore that. And oh, down here, I'm not actually sure uh, what it is down here. This might actually be the light switch um, uh, farm. Yeah, this is. Uh, so this is going to be where they're going to get their crops from. Uh, you can't see they haven't actually put any wheat in here yet, but this will be full of wheat. And you can see that you pull a lever from the outside and the pistons cover up all of these blocks, which covers up the light from these torches, uh, which will mean that all of the uh, crops will then pop up and make it easy to capture. So it's kind of similar uh, to what I've got in my world, if you've seen that. But instead of having to cover up all the glowstone, uh, you pull a lever and that will sort of harvest all the crops for you. So that's kind of quite a cool way of doing it. And there's a whole load of redstone underneath there in order to make it work. And it's all stuff that I don't really understand yet. Uh, but hopefully uh, I can implement something like that into my world at a future date. Here, once again, another easy way of farming. You can see a load of sugar canes here, and you just press one button, which is up here, I believe. Yeah, there we go. And all these pistons extend, and it pushes down all of the sugar cane, making it so you can easily uh, get it, and it sort of comes down this stream, and then you can just sort of collect it really easily. So you literally have to press one button, and then you can just sort of stand here for a bit, and all of the sugar cane will slowly uh, just stride towards you in the uh, stream of the water there. So pretty much going for efficiency uh, in this world, and... It's very, it's very much a mechanical world. Lots of pistons and redstone and stuff, and that's sort of uh, really Afro Dan's forte. That's what he really enjoys building. Uh, where I more just try and build sort of pretty looking rooms and buildings and stuff. So we see sort of our own different styles of doing stuff there. And I'm not entirely sure what Dan is going to be showing me next. Um, I think he's just sort of covering up a hole he made there. <laughs> Okay, moving on. Um, I, I know you probably got a little glimpse earlier of something massive, and I think we're going to show you that now. Uh, I accidentally gave you a glimpse of it earlier, but I didn't want to talk about it yet until I can give you a full tour. But here you can see uh, a work in progress, a massive uh, memorial to Gregory the dog. This is here, a massive <laughs> version of my dog Gregory. If you don't know who Gregory is, it was my very first dog which I had, which unfortunately got killed by a skeleton. And I miss it so much, and I know quite a lot of you uh, miss Gregory as well. So they decided to build a massive memorial to him. And it's not finished yet. Uh, they've actually still been building it in this world. And oh, looks like Dan's got something else to show me first. 
that's not a very elegant way of getting my attention, you know? You could have just teabagged or something in front of me. You didn't have to smack me around the face. Okay, I'm not sure what I'm being shown now. I told you some of this stuff I have seen and some of it I haven't seen. And this is something that I haven't actually had a proper look at yet. Okay. It looks like they might have actually built something in here. Uh, last time I heard, it was actually uh, one of my mates, uh, uh, Cornish, uh, came in and just sort of built this and then left the world and didn't sort it out. But maybe they've redeemed it and built something else in here. So let's take a look at what it is. I hate using water to go, to go up. It's so ridiculously slow. I'm pretty sure it is slower than a ladder. This has got to be slower than a ladder. They, they, they could have put a more efficient way of getting up here. <laughs> I actually did a, um, a, a Let's Play of the game Ico. I'm not sure if I'm going to be uploading it yet by the time you watch this video and uh, there's a girl in there called Yorda and she climbs ladders so slowly it got to a point where I'd have to like come up with some jokes so I could just sort of say jokes while she's climbing a ladder because it would take so long and I'd sort of run out of things to say. I think it might have actually just been taking me up here to sort of get a good view of Gregory or is this like a diving board? I oh, know this is just a really good view. Yes, yeah, so you can see how massive it is. Uh, it is absolutely huge, and they haven't finished it yet because they haven't done sort of the pattern on his fur. Uh, I think they're just going to be filling that in now. It's going to be a mixture of snow and uh, white wool because they're actually uh, a slightly different tone of white, and they've got some stone and stuff. And yeah, it's a, it's a pretty massive, impressive thing, and it's just quite cool because it's Gregory. And so yeah, it's, that's a pretty cool thing. And yeah, I believe that's. That's the only reason for going up here was to, to get a nicer view. And we're actually now going to go and have a look inside the belly of Gregory. That's right, I'm going to be going into the stomach of my deceased dog, as weird as that sound. And what they're going to be planning to build on the inside is a memorial to all of my dead dogs. And all of their dog dead dogs as well. So all of the dogs that you've seen that have died in my videos, dogs like Stampy Goodnose, and who else we had, Snowy, and Porky, and... Uh, of course, Gregory. All of my dogs that die are going to have just sort of a place to rest inside this massive Gregory. And it's going to be an area to not so much mourn my dogs, but to celebrate the life of my dogs and all of their achievements. So you see, it's kind of, oh my god, I thought that was a creeper then. <laughs> That's Halo Zone, <laughs> dressing up as a creeper to try and scare me. Uh, you failed, by the way, you failed, you didn't scare me. So yeah, it's going to be just sort of a massive room inside here. And surprisingly, it looks bigger inside Gregory uh, than it is on the outside. And so I'm not entirely sure how we're going to do it. We might kind of have just sort of shrines of my past dogs in here. And oh, it looks like we can actually get up to the top. I've not been up here before. I feel like kind of slightly disrespectful for like climbing around the back of my giant deceased dog. Even if it is just a, a replica. Okay, so I, I think Dan might actually now just be sort of getting back to work on the dog. And I don't, I don't know if I want to jump down there. I'm pretty sure that will kill me. I don't want to jump on the end of my dog's nose. they will probably sneeze and I'll fly across the level. And look, oh, you can see there's my room. That, that's my room there. And I'm actually going to build a balcony out from the side there so I can get uh, as good a view as possible. Oh, look. Looks like Halo Zone's dressed up the same as me. It looks like a mirror. Right, let's let's see if we can get, get a mirror going. Right. I go to the left. Oh, go to the right. <laughs> it's like a really delayed mirror. <laughs> I think Halo Zone's got the slowest reactions ever. It's like, what's that? Um, I can't remember what that film is. Like, when, Oh my god, what are you doing, Dan? What the hell are you doing? Why did you do that? That was mean. I think, I think Dan was jealous because I was spending time with Halo Zone and not following him on his tour. What the bloody hell was that for? He better have a good reason for doing that when I speak to him after this video. That was just a vicious and a mindless attack. <laughs> I hope I'm... Oh my... Why is that... Ah, oh, they're all dressed as zombies. I was like, oh, is that... Who's that? I don't like this. Why is everyone dressing up as googlies? Why, why do you all have to dress up as bloody googlies? Why, why are you all attacking me? What's what's going on? What's that... Is everyone actually turning into zombies and getting, like, affected? Was Is as Dan, as Dan's mind being tainted by the undead? Was he just attacking Halo Zone? Was he going for blood? Trying to eat his brains? Why is everyone dressed as a zombie? <laughs> <laughs> They're actually all talking to each other in a party right now, so I reckon they all plan to dress up as a party and try and scare me. Maybe that's what Dan was trying to do, punch Halo Zone to get his attention and didn't actually mean to knock him off. Stop it! Go bugger off! I don't like it. Even though I know they're not zombies, the problem is now it's going to be like the boy that cried wolf. I'm going to turn around and there's actually going to be a zombie there and I'm just going to assume that it's one of them and then it's going to eat my brains and I don't want my brains to get eaten. I don't have many bloody brains as it is. I want to hold on to them. Actually, I don't have any shears, so I'm not going to shear that sheep. They're all just following me. I don't even know how to get back into the house. I think it's here. Right, seeing as it's night time, I think we are actually 
are all going to go to bed. So let's all go into the bedroom. Oh, I can't believe I'm going to share a room full of... Look at them all. I don't like it. I'm going to hide in the corner of the room. The... No! No, leave me alone. Oh, this is like... um. What's that? Dead Rising. You know, he's like stuck and he sort of has to jump along all of their heads. Right, I'm, I'm going to bed. I'm, I'm just going to go to bed. I'm just going to shut my eyes now because if I can't see them, then they can't see me. <laughs> oh, and they're pushing me off the bed. Leave me alone. I'm just an innocent black knight. Right, that's it. That's it. I know what to do. I'm going to go one step up and I'm going to change into like a scarier zombie. I'm going to be like the, the king of zombies. Right, what does it look like? There we go. I'll be this one. Ah. Take that, guys. Take that. I'm a proper zombie now. <laughs> I, I'm not sure if um, they've all got the uh, the uh, the skin pack. I'm not sure if Dan's got it because he didn't join in with dressing up like a zombie. So maybe he has to just stay as a queen. I oh, know he's, he's as a was he as a, he's an officer dick. Oh, there's a skeleton right here. Oh, get off, get off, get off, get off, get off. I assume that was just one of them. Oh, we got creepers and zombies. It's like a googly's uprising. Ah, <laughs> oh, I need to have some pork chops. Right, okay, let's let's have a good night's sleep now, shall we? I don't know why they spawned in here. Do we leave the door open? Why is I running out of time? Oh my god, that's a scary sight to wake up to. Can we can we stop dressing up like mobs? Actually, I kind of like it. I'm like the king of zombies now, being this gory zombie. It looks so disgusting. Look at it. Look at its face. It's got like chunks coming out of it. Right, let's go up the stairs. Oh, too slow. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> there's uh, oh there's Carl as well X sketch that's that's Carl he's someone else who's in this world yeah Nut Rat and Carl are also um, going to be sharing rooms together something that I realised I didn't show you actually was uh, anyone else's room uh, I think this room is Craig's room I think yeah this this is Craig's room out here so he's got a uh, what's that a blue wall an obsidian uh, wall there he actually put, built his room in my house out of obsidian as well uh, he hasn't got many belongings there we go and he's built a fireplace over this side of the room I don't think he's actually going to be able to light the fireplace though, because I'm, I'm pretty sure it would burn most of the house down, but... It's, it's kind of got fire in the painting as well. You can actually put paintings down that look a bit like fire. I can't remember which one it is. Oh! Th thanks, Dan. Thanks for puking up sugar canes at me. And it looks like he's building a balcony as well. Oh, he's basically building exactly what I'm going to build just along there. That's going to be cool though. It'd be like when you're on holiday and you can sort of go out and you can like nosy on the people next door by looking into their balcony and seeing their speedos hanging over the edge of the balcony. <laughs> Yeah, so it looks like he's going to be doing something pretty similar to my room, but I'm determined to somehow make my room better. It looks like Halo Zone's been hard at work. Sorry, I realize I keep calling it my room. I'm sorry, Halo Zone. I mean our room. Oh, look, he's literally just copying him by building a fireplace. Oh, he's built a little little bench down here as well. Okay, that's cool. Right, I think he's probably run out of bricks, so I'm going to carry on laying down the floor here. And we're going to go, as I said earlier, for a snow roof. Oh, and what this is, by the way, if you're wondering why there's a random pit, uh, that's the mob trap. That's sort of the trail for mob traps. So every now and then in my room, there's going to be like some sort of zombie or creeper or something. Just just sort of passing under the ground of my room. So that means that in the middle of the night, under my bed, I'm just going to hear it every now and then. And probably scare the crap out of me. But to be honest, it probably couldn't be any worse than last night, sleeping in a room full of zombies. <laughs> and then some actual genuine baddie skeletons. Hopefully I'm going to have enough brick. The reason I decided to use brick for the floor was because... Basically because I can't have brick in my own world, so I wanted just to make the most of it in here and have as much brick as I can. But it looks like I have just run out of brick there. Right, I'm going to throw down some... No, don't... Just kind of run out of brick. Doesn't mean you can just place snow there. Right, let me let me throw some snow. And then uh, hopefully Dan will see what I'm trying to do and sort of carry it on. Dan, are you there? Yeah, see that? You carry on doing that. I'm going to go get some more bricks. <laughs> It's amazing the way the way you learn to communicate without talking because I never talk to people when I'm doing my videos apart from the uh, obviously the dual commentaries I did with my girlfriend where we were pretty much sitting on each other's lap as we were doing it because uh, we were sharing the same mic. Apart from that, I can never actually hear the people that I'm playing with. Oh, brilliant. One bloody brick. That's going to do a lot. Yeah, so it's kind of... I've kind of had to get used to them not being able to hear me so we sort of come up with sort of sign language like... Like, when I want to move on, I'll crouch, or, like, sort of jumping and teabagging and all these sort of different moves to sort of <laughs> sort of talk to each other without actually using words, like Minecraft sign language. And, yeah, it looks like I ran out of bricks, so I'm going to shove a bunch more clay in the furnace. And, yeah, I, I don't think they were too happy with me sort of coming into the world and pretty much stealing all of their bricks. But I told them that if they do need bricks, they can steal a bit from my floor. And I, w I will go hunting uh, to try and find some more clay in the future. But, yeah, there we go. I got... 
some clay brewing there. And it is annoying that I can't have um, bricks on my own world because, like, I don't know. It's, I think it's just a really nice building material. And especially for my fireplace as well, because you're supposed to build fireplaces out of bricks because they're the best thing to contain fire. Uh, but I couldn't do that. But as I say, I'm going to make the most of it. Oh, here's Nutrat's Nook. Let's have a look in here quick. Okay, well, this is Carl's and Nutrat's room. They've actually <laughs> seen as they're, they're sharing. They've built... Uh, a fence down the middle. You know, like when you're a kid and you're like, here's a line. This is my side of the room. This is your side. They've basically done that. And Carl is kind of upset because Nutrat's decorated his room with bookcases and his looks all nice with pictures. And Carl's just got a couple beds. <laughs> he's just standing there. He looks, I don't know. He just looks really upset. Oh, no, there we go. He, he's happy. Anyway, yeah. So this is their room. And yeah, I've shown you Craig's room. I think that's everyone's room. I think Dan's room is just completely undecorated. Just like it, you remember um, in Crim City as well. Yeah. Dan's domain, he just sort of left it completely empty because um, he sort of he was always mining and doing stuff and building stuff. He never actually worried about <laughs> decorating or what his actually room would look like. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, as I say, this is on this is on Craig's host, so it might actually be a bit laggy on occasion. You might have noticed that. And it's a bit, I don't like having a fireplace when you can't actually light the fire. It, it seems kind of a bit pointless, but oh well. If it, this isn't just my room, this is Halo Zones and my room. We're actually going to have bunk beds, I think. So hopefully at the end of the video we can sort of bunk up and have our first sleepover together. I'm looking forward to it. Right, oh, this floor, this like ceiling just keeps like disappearing. Right, I'm going to throw a bunch more snow down in case anyone else needs some. And then I'm going to go downstairs and hopefully I should get my last bricks. How many do I need? Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, okay. Uh, I can't be able to do quick maths. <laughs> oh, I've also got some pumpkins I can decorate. Well, actually, no, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to start building my um, my balcony. So let me just line it up so it's in the middle of the room. Uh, I'm going to have a double door leading out there just so everything's like symmetrical in the middle of the room. And yeah, it's going to be pretty much the same as how Craig did here. So I'm just going to have a wooden plank one because... The thing is, because I always want to have wooden fences around it, it'd look weird building out of any material. So you're kind of restricted to have to use uh, wooden planks. Um, I will be regaining my normal world after this video as well. I realise that I've sort of had quite an absence from my, my normal world. So um just throw Dan some wooden planks if he wants to give me a hand. <laughs> because so many just helpers. They just sort of stand close to me and just look like they want to help me. And sorry, it is really starting to lag quite a lot here. <laughs> I think he's just looking to see what I did. Don't, don't worry, Dan. I've not been doing this exact or anything. Yes, yeah, so as I said, I will, I will be going uh, back into my own world in my next video. I realise I've spent quite a lot of time in um, me and Mel's world and just sort of seeing other people's worlds. But I will go back to Stampy's lovely world soon and sort of carry on building. It looks like Dan's had a nasty fall. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dan. I'm sorry for putting you in a dangerous situation. I hope he doesn't try and sue. It'd be like, you know, one of those compensation adverts. Like, I was just doing my normal job of building a balcony when I was standing on a ladder when the ladder was upside down and I had my eyes shut and there was a puddle on the floor and then I slipped. But luckily I was able to get $3,000 from my employer and rip them out of their money. Okay, sorry, those adverts just really annoy me. And I hate, I don't know about you, but I keep getting texts like, we heard you had an accident. Like, like you could claim up to £3,000. And I'm like, I don't know. I just, I don't like it. I feel like it's jinxing me. I feel like maybe they sent the text a little bit too early and they're going to make me have an accident or something. <laughs> like, like, how would they find out if I had an accident? And do they have just like scouts just wandering around and they just see you slip up somewhere and they just sort of try and get your number somehow? Sorry, I realise I've been really going off topic in this video, haven't I? I've been rather all over the place. Right, let's, let me shove down a couple doors. But is this, this starting to look like a room? We've done really good progress, seen as as we started this video, this was basically just a completely empty room. And we've got all the floor done, and the door works beautifully. Thanks, Dan. And yeah, it, it looks like a room. Yep, that, that door works too. Once again, thanks, Dan. Thanks, quality control there. He actually looks like an officer. He looks like he should have, like, a clipboard and he would come round and check the safety of everything. <laughs> Dan, out of the way. Move. There we go. Uh, yeah, have a few torches up here, and... Um, oh, I've realised this is done wrong. Dan, did you do it wrong? One, two, three, one. Is this? No, that's not right. It's out, it's out further in this direction. Um, apparently, I've just found out that you're not actually supposed to use an axe to get rid of fences, and I've always been using one. I feel, I feel weird not using one now, though. Yeah, this needs to be one more extended this way, and then I think it's just about going to be night. We're going to build our bunk beds, and then I think we're going to gonna go to sleep, and that was just about in this video. So, as I say, if you want me to feature your world, um, 
just send me a private message on YouTube. Uh, obviously, the bigger, the better, the more fantastic it is. Uh, I'd like it. But even if you just built a few cool things, you just sort of want to show them off and share them with the world. Maybe I'll do a video where I sort of uh, go and feature, like, feature a few like people's worlds in one video and stuff. And I know you might not be thinking this is the most fantastic world ever, but this is the new world that they've just started. And I caught sort of, seeing as like it was with Craig and Dan, and like I've shown them in previous videos, I thought like it might be cool to just sort of keep coming back to this world every now and then and just sort of update you with what they've done and stuff. And Dan, what you, what have you, got, why have you got rid of the fences on this side? That side was right, wasn't it? Oh, I'd, I've lost bloody track. Right, one, two, three, four, one, two. Okay, yeah, this needs to be one more out. You're right, Dan. Don't don't stand there. You've already fallen off once before. <laughs> there we go. There we go. I'm getting some help. Whoa, whoa, lag, lag, lag. Okay, I leave I leave Dan to sort that out, and I'm gonna go, gonna go grab some wool from somewhere if I can find some, and then, um, yeah, then I'm gonna build my bunk beds. Actually, I want to make some jack o' lanterns. I love jack o' lanterns. I stole a few pumpkins as well while I was downstairs. How do I make them again? Uh, also, I was under torches, isn't it? I always spent ages trying to find jack o' lanterns. Right, let's, where should we put these? Um, I just put them anywhere for now. It doesn't really matter. So I mean, I, I will decorate this all a lot nicer, and I'm gonna put like some pictures up and just sort of make it a little bit more. I should got some bookshelves and stuff I can put up as well. Okay, I might build that all over around this area. Build a few bookshelves and stuff. Uh, well, it's all really starting to lag quite a lot now, isn't it? There we go. There we go. That, that accidentally looks quite cool. <laughs> I think I've got a painting in here as well. Oh no, I think someone stole it. Or have they put it up? No. Okay, right, I need to go grab some wool from downstairs and then we can make some beds. And if I can't find any wool, then I might actually just steal some beds <laughs> from the communal sleeping area and they'll just have to do for now. <laughs> like, I always, like, join their world and I'm always like, oh yeah, like, I'll go cut down some trees, I'll go harvest everything for you. Uh, but I end up just being, like, a complete drain on their supplies and going and just sort of <laughs> stealing everything from them. Right, okay, can you make beds out of, like, different coloured wool, or does it have to be white wool? I'm not even sure. You would assume that- oh, there we go, there, there's one bed, we're one down. Right, I believe it's- is it free wool to make a bed, I believe? The problem with playing the, the Xbox version of Minecraft is you never really learn anything, you kind of just go along with it, like, because you don't actually know how much materials- because it's so easy to make things, that you don't have to put any thought into it, when the PC actually got to sort of line it all out. Oh, no, it does have to be white wool. Or does it? I think, actually, it might be blue wool. There we go. Right, let's let's, let's go make some bunk beds. Then we can go to bed. Looks like Craig's already gone to sleep. <laughs> Hopefully you haven't gone to sleep yet. Whoa, okay, right. Halo Zone, you've got to join me. We've got to have our, our sleepover. Um, okay, the way, the way you do beds, I think you've got to kind of... You've got to stack them. So you do, like... I think you've got to do the top one first. So where, where can I... Okay, we're going to have to... Our beds can just be here for now. So I believe if we do that, then get rid of these blocks, we can place another bed underneath it. I think that will work. I'm not. I'm not entirely sure. I know I've done this one before. And thanks. Well, there we go. Here's our bunk beds. <laughs> um, that looks all right, doesn't it? That that looks kind of bunk beddy. I'm just gonna put some torches around it because I don't want to get woken up by any more googlies. Right, Halo. Oh, that's not Halo Zone. Halo Zone, come to bed, honey. It's a bit weird calling him honey. Come on, Halo Zone. Halo Zone, bed. Well, no, this room. He doesn't even know where our bloody room is. Come on. <laughs> and now we can go and have our first sleep together. <laughs> go on, Dan. you got your own room. Oh, I, think, I think Dan's jealous. <laughs> okay, it looks like Halo Zone's Bugsy the, Bugsy the top bunk. <laughs> he shotgunned it. Dan, what are you doing? <laughs> Dan, get to your own bloody room. Get out of here. Go, go. I think he was just checking the safety on it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Halo Zone. What's going on? Um, that might not have been the smartest idea. <laughs> uh, right, I know what to do. I've got an idea. If I dig... Oh, Dan, what are you doing? I've got this, I've got this, Dan. I've, I know how to do it. If I go down one, then we can have one in the floor. So, actually, I need to put... Do I put a bed on... No, I don't. That's wrong. Oh, I shouldn't have got rid of that, actually. I need to put one bed there. Will it let me? No, okay, I'll do it this side. One bed there, and I need one bed underneath it as well. I don't know where the other bed, though. Did someone pick up the other bed? Alright, let me just... Sorry, I know I'm taking ages here. We're supposed to just 
get the bunk beds built and go to sleep without anything going wrong. But Halo's managed to somehow get his head stuck through the ceiling somehow. <laughs> Some sort of glitch I didn't know about. Right, okay, where, where's the other bed? Halo Zone, underneath there. Can I have the bed, please, Halo Zone? Thank you. Look at that. See, look, they can't actually hear what I'm saying, but somehow everyone just sort of sort of knows what we're all trying to do. Right, will, will this work? There we go. I can hear just going sleep through the floor. <laughs> okay, looks like everyone's going to sleep now. And hopefully I haven't put you to sleep with this commentary. This was a quick look at the map Crimsville. As I said before, if you've got a uh, Minecraft world on the Xbox 360 version of Minecraft and you want to share it with me, just send me a private message on YouTube and I'll come and check it out. Try not to break too much and sort of share it with the rest of the world or at least the uh, the few people that watch my videos, if not the rest of the world. But that is the, everything that I've got to show you in this world. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.